The list of potential nominees to the Supreme Court is narrowing. And as President Obama ponders the decision, Washington is all abuzz over the two openly gay women under consideration. CBS News senior White House correspondent Bill Plant joins us with the story. Good morning, Bill. Morning, Julie. That's right. As the president ponders his possible choices for the court, there are two openly gay women on the list. And the list is the people everybody is talking, everybody you're talking about. You never know how anybody gets on it, but they're on it. And the question is then, is America ready for a gay Supreme Court justice? Well, I think they're ready and, and certainly it would be a tremendous and historic thing. The two openly gay women who've appeared on nominee lists are Pamela Carlin, a Stanford law professor who clerked for a Supreme Court justice, and Kathleen Sullivan, former Stanford Law School dean and constitutional scholar. Republican leaders aren't opposed. I don't think a person who um, acknowledges uh, that they have gay tendencies is disqualified. But gays are only one of many factions looking for representation on the bench. When the gay and lesbian groups push back, when the Hispanic groups push back, what they're saying is not necessarily my guy's time is now. And what they're saying is this court, as it's, as it's now constructed, really is a bunch of white men one black man, one, one woman, and it is just does not look like, it doesn't even look like the federal bench. And the betting is very strongly that the president won't pick another white male, but I wouldn't expect him to pick somebody controversial who he'd have difficulty getting through the Senate for his first choice. He's probably going to have a couple more.